dear student assalamu alaikum this is your ikbal sir i hope you are safe and sound it mubarak i hope you spend a good eid al fitr vacation today we will start a new chapter static electricity static electricity at first we have to know what is static electricity the word static means not moving the word static means not moving static electricity means electrons are not moving along a path or not flowing current electricity static electricity means electrons are not moving along a path or not flowing current electricity rather electrons are supplied rather electrons are supplied from one atom and moved on to another atom resulting in a build up of charge rather electrons are supplied from one atom and moved on to another atom resulting in a build up of charge that is static electricity means electrons are not moving it's confined in a particular place where electrons are supplied from one atom to another atom one atom to another atom which resulting build up of charge which resulting in a build up of charge we know that an atom consists of three permanent particle named proton neutrons and electrons we know that the charge of proton is positive and which location in atom in nucleus here the charge of proton is positive and its location in atom is nucleus this is the neutron and this charge it has no charge it has no charge and which location also in nucleus and the electron which charge is negative and which is outside the nucleus and orbiting around the nucleus orbiting around the nucleus this is the sub atomic particles and these three particles are the permanent particle for every atom electric charge what is the electric charge if an object has more electrons than protons if an object has more electrons than protons it is negatively charged for example in this figure there are eight number of protons and the number of electrons are 12 that is the number of protons is less than the number of electrons therefore overall charge is negative because the number of electrons are greater than the number of protons that's why this material is negatively charged negatively charged on the other hand if an object has more protons than an electrons if an object has more protons than electrons then it is positively charged it is positively charged for example in this figure the number of protons is 8 and the number of electron is 5 the number of proton is 8 and the number of electron is 5 now the protons the number of protons is greater than the number of electrons therefore overall charge is positive because the number of proton is greater than the number of electron that's why this material is positively charged positively charged if an object has an equal number of protons and electrons the object is neutral if an object has an equal number of protons and electrons the object is neutral that is for this figure the number of proton is 8 and the number of electron is 8 that is the number of protons equal to the number of electrons therefore overall charge is neutral overall 
charge is neutral electric charge there are two law of attraction and repulsion there are two law law of attraction opposite charge attract each other here in this figure this is the positive charge this is the negative charge and as they are opposite charge they attract each other they attract each other on the other hand similar or like charge repeal each other similar or like charge repeal each other in this figure this is the positive charge and this is also positive charge that is both are similar charge and they repeal each other on the other hand this is the negative charge and it also a negative charge that's why they repeal each other electric charge electrons can be transferred from one object to another electrons can be transferred from one object to another for example a neutral or positively charged object will become negatively charged a neutral or positively charged object will become negatively charged if it gains electrons if it gains it gains electrons for example in this figure this two material is a neutral object if we rubbing these two object with each other we rubbing these two object with each other if some electrons goes to this object then the number of electron will be greater than the number of proton that's why we can say that this is the negatively charged object negatively charged object on the other hand similarly a neutral or negatively charged object will become positively charged if it losses if it losses electron losses electron similarly a neutral or negatively charged object will become positively charged if it losses electron for example this two object is a neutral object when we rubbing with each other then this object losses some electron it losses some electron then the number of proton will be greater than the number of electron that's why we can say that this is the positively charged object positively charged object electric charge only electrons that is negative charge are capable of moving from one object to another only electrons that is negative charges are capable of moving from one object to another protons that is positive charges stay in place that is it cannot move from one place to another only electrons can move only electrons can move from one place to another place conductors and insulator what is the conductors and insulator conductivity at first we have to know what is the conductivity to know about the conductors and insulator conductivity is the ability conductivity is the ability of materials to allow electrons to move freely conductivity is the ability of materials to allow electrons to move freely materials that hold onto their electrons and do not allow them to move easily are called electrical insulators the object or material which hold on their electrons and do not allow them to move easily is called the insulator on the other hand the materials that allow electrons to cha change positions are called conductors the material that allow electrons allow electrons to change positions are called conductors are called conductors insulators in an insulator the electron